what's up guys so today i'm working on this 240sx you guys haven't seen it yet i've actually been putting together the engine for it for the last like month or two it's a kat um with cp pistons and eagle rods and i assembled it and then put together the head with the head gasket arp studs etc and today the car got dropped off and i've been messing with it all morning taking out the extra stuff it doesn't need and getting it prepped for the engine to go in so i'm about to take some oven cleaner and spray it in the engine bay and clean out the engine bay so i can get it ready to drop the engine in so let's get to it pretty little 240sx it's gold on one side the hood's gold and then this whole side is red but it's pretty much complete so it'll be pretty easy to put together i already sprayed down this side so i'm gonna spray down this side and then let it soak Everything's completely soaked. All right, I got it scrubbed down pretty good. Now I'm gonna rinse it off. All right, so I got it pretty clean. Took out more stuff. It's all laying right there. There's a big old, you know, typical 240 issue right here battery acid rusted out the whole battery tray area so i'm just gonna cut out probably this area this is gonna stay in here because i'm not just gonna start cutting that far up into his tub but just gonna take out what i need to take out to fit in the uh, intercooler piping and make it look not so terrible all right so i went ahead and cut out most of the uh rust area there's still some left on the outside but not really getting uh, paid to do that so I'm not gonna do all that so I'm just gonna leave it just like that all the piping can get through and that'll do so I'm gonna leave it there for now and pick up later once I get the engine mounts trans cross member trans mount bell housing bolts new slave and everything else I need to put the drivetrain in the car I also went ahead and I installed the chase base power steering kit on the VQ240 um, it works fantastic I drove it around a couple times I can put my clips in after this and show you guys how it ran. Today I'm back, another video on the VQ240. Got this beautiful beast sitting right here. Sorry about the wheels. I'm currently polishing out the ones that actually go on the car. So I got the steelies on there. Uh, look pretty goofy, look at that. Look at that fitment. That's that five finger gap right there. I'm just kidding. Either way, I got the Chase Bay's power steering setup for the VQ240. Um, this came in the mail like last week. I just want to give a huge shout out to my friend Devin over at Injuku. Anytime I need something through Injuku, he always gets me right, hooks it up, gets me a good deal on it. So I appreciate Devin. I appreciate Injuku. Thank you guys so much for making this a little bit easier. And uh, yeah, that's what I'm going to be doing today. So I'm going to be taking out this kit and installing it on my car. And then hopefully, if the rain stops, I can take it for a test drive. So it's a pretty simple setup. Um, I elected to not get the power steering cooler, although that might turn out to be a regrettable decision. So if that ends up being the case, then I'll just have to splice my own in. So in the box, we got the Chase Bay's reservoir. Looks really nice, clean. Got the feed line to the pump. Got the pump to the steering rack. And then we've got the steering rack back to the reservoir. So it's really, really simple.
currently that's where I'm at with it. It drove great. I love the way it felt with power steering. Um, it completely changed the feel of the car. So soon here, I'm going to take everything over to the DMV, get the title transferred to Florida, and then put it on the road. And I cannot wait to do that. So we have a few things going on right now. Got the KAT that I'm putting together and also still working on the fence out back so I can keep everything back there and keep it organized. So thank you guys for watching and I'll catch you in the next video. Make sure you hit the like button, comment anything down below if you have anything to say and hit subscribe if you haven't yet. Catch you in the next one.